This is a fragment of the Guamar meteorite that translates from Arabic to English as embers, and I think it's a perfect name for this stone. Let's take a closer look. The Guamar meteorite was found in a Saharan oasis town in Algeria, close to the border of Tunisia in 2022. It was a very small find, only about 512 grams were recovered, and my piece of that is around 42 grams, so it's a pretty good representative sample of this rare CK5 carbonaceous chondrite. It's really rare to find carbonaceous chondrites, and that's really because of what they're made up of. Carbon, of course, but also hydrated materials, things that have once come in contact with water somewhere out in the universe, which is a pretty exciting thing. Of course, these things are very fragile in this rock silicate form. So when they crash down to Earth, they have to be found pretty quickly or else they wear away. There are simply cases where a meteorite can land one day if it survives its fall and it's gone by the next rainfall. So when we find these things, they're usually pretty fresh. And as a result, they often have a really nice fusion crust like this one. That's really the beauty of of this stone. Most carbonaceous chondrites are darker in color like this one, but that fusion crust on one side of it is in just brilliant shape. So this was found pretty quickly after it fell, most likely. We can even see some hints of flow lines in that fusion crust where it melted, giving some hint of orientation or direction of the fall. As amazing as the outside of this crusted meteorite is, the inside is maybe even more spectacular just because of its texture. This is clearly a piece that broke off of some other mass, and I just think the name embers is so fitting because it looks almost like a volcanic range, something that was created or altered in fire, and it certainly was to some degree and was affected by it when it came through our atmosphere and burn up a little bit. It's rare that I would display a meteorite like this with the inside facing out to people when the crust on the outside is so beautiful, but that's exactly Exactly how this one will be displayed. I'm super fortunate to be able to hold a piece of the early solar system in my hand, learn a little bit more about how we all came to be through this type of science. If you like learning about space through the lens of meteorites, make sure to like and subscribe. I've got a lot more exciting things to show you from space.